Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular Testing Full Tutorial Series. Today is the part 8 of the series where we are focusing on learning about the Angular test spec in detail. Whenever we generate a component, service, module, pipe, directive, all of that Angular CLI will generate default spec file for us. It's important to know, understand what that spec file is made of mostly because of two reasons. One, it will help you understand the core foundational and fundamental concept. Number two, whenever you go to attend any interviews, you are bound to be asked the basic questions and that's where they will catch you whether you really have worked or not. After this episode, I'm sure some of your basic questions, foundations and fundamentals will be clear. This. Uh, before we get started, let me also let you know that I also have other tutorial series uh, in this particular channel which focus on Angular, namely Angular 9 full tutorial series. We have Angular CRUD series and the current one is Angular testing series. Uh, make sure you check out the links. The links are in the description box below. Uh, this will help you learn and master Angular. As of, as of all good um, testing projects we'll need, we'll need a project that we want to work with. So as part of Angular CRUD tutorial series, I had created a uh, entire feature product feature module. So make sure you check it out. The code is in the GitHub link I've shared. I have also shown you how to run this as part of the episode one. So make sure you get the project and run it in your local so that you can have a project sample project for your testing. All right, so just a quick recap. So in the previous episode, we learned about Jasmine. We learned about writing a basic test spec and we also learned about um, what is describe and what is it function, right? So those are important. That's the st first step of learning towards automation testing. In today's episode, we will focus on understanding what's inside a spec file generated by Angular CLI, right? So whenever a spec file or a, un or a testing file is generated by CLI, what, what does it contain? Why is it important? What is the flow? Everything you will know in this episode. So let's talk about that now. So understanding the default sp test spec file, right? So uh, any test uh, spec file, which is nothing but a testing unit file that gets generated will have few things common, right? So the first one is the test bed and then there is async. So we need to import these from the core module, which is angular core testing. Then once we have done it, it also have to mention which component you're working with, right? Which component you're trying to test. So we need to import that particular component. Then you will also see two important methods inside describe, right? So which are before each. So what happens before running every test, you'll need some kind of basic setup to be done, right? Or groundwork to be done. Uh, and that exactly is what is done in before each methods. And then you will also see something called testbed.configure testing module, right? So this is like setting up a module. You'll, re you'll pass your components, you'll pass your services, etc., to set up that module, right? And then you define a fixture, which is nothing but a wrapper of component and template, right? So these are just the high level. I'll show you now with hands-on, so don't worry. Uh, and again, like I said, I will cover before each and testbed separately in a separate episode also because that requires a little bit more weightage uh, but feel free to ask me any questions if you have any doubts you have so let's get started with some hands-on and i'll show you with some practical examples Alrighty. so what i'm going to do i'm going to gen generate a new component uh, and i'm going to call it reviews nothing fancy you can give any component name that you want this is for a learning purpose all right so we have our uh, component called reviews and you see here in the line second line we see that we have the review component spec file right you open it here and you can see there is a spec file right so this is a default spec file that is generated i did not write any line it's all coming from angular cli okay so now let's go line by line understand what is what happens in the default test spec right so if you see here first it's importing right so the first step is importing the required classes and interfaces right so all right 
so first step is to import the required classes and interfaces like async and test bed and you have component fixture right so these are all um, classes and interfaces and methods that you need from from the library which is your core right so you have angular slash core slash testing right so this is the core one that is what is the line number first line the second line since we are doing it for reviews component you are importing the reviews component right so if you open contacts you would see that it would have contacts as component right so see contacts component because here it the component name is contacts so basically whatever component you are testing import that right now the question generally asked is uh, is it only one component always not necessarily because if you are working with a uh, parent child kind of a component you might import more than one components right import components required for testing or for which we are writing for which for which we are writing our tests right import all the components then we will start our describe statement right this we have seen it in previous episode so a simple describe would look like this right this is an empty describe right so we can just say write a describe statement correct so what it does you just put it inside this pack and we'll write a describe method so what it takes it takes the name of the component so in this case review component component and then it takes a callback uh, method right so this is a simple describe statement now inside describe statement we will have it functions right so if you have to take this and write it functions you would do like this you take this and just write it and give it a name what it is doing here test case one right and you can give any name and again it follows the same format of arrow method so this is how describe test in it right describe and it so describe and it statement right so if you remove all of this it should look familiar to you right so see does it look familiar to you describe it statement now let's put back the other thing now see inside the describe the important thing that you should know is we create a fixture right for component and template so what is a fixture what is a fixture it's nothing but it's a wrapper class right it's a wrapper around the component and the template okay so in other words you can simply say that using fixture we can get properties of component class and template right we can get anything from the properties of component and the template that's what is a fixture okay and i'll show you that in just a bit uh, stay tuned and just understand this for now we will cover before each and test bed in detail so don't worry about that also the next thing that you would see is before each right so in the next episode i'm going to cover that in detail but for now understand that what is before each method so before running before running your test scripts right before running test specs we need some kind of groundwork okay some groundwork now this groundwork is nothing but setting up component or setting up data or importing services etc 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 right so basically we are saying to run this particular use case we'll need some groundwork that is what is done in before each methods right so that is what before each does now there are some open questions i'm sure in your mind and especially in twisting uh, interviews they ask you before each right so why are there two before each what does they do what does each do right um, what can we do can we do in before each etc etc so there are so many open questions i know i will cover this in a separate um, uh, video that's coming up next after this tutorial in the next episodes that i'm coming up with 
so don't worry hold on to your questions just understand the flow for now of this particular spec file and then finally you will see something called test bed okay test bed dot configure testing modules then test bed dot create component so test bed is nothing but it's the main utility i would say right it's the main utility to to define our com module components etc right so using test bed we can do all the required setup for testing our um, components so you see test bed dot configure test bed dot create you create a fixture and then you do write your test we can also target something like uh, query element equal to fixture dot say debug element dot query and we can say by right oh sorry here we'll say by let's import it from protractor and dot css so see this is how it is um, as simple as um, you know brand etc if you want to get something by brand right so so we can easily get something like this details from the template and from the component using the fixture which is nothing but a test bed instance of that component right i hope uh, this gives you a fair bit of an idea of each line that is written here right and this is nothing but and like i said before each i will cover it in the next episode in detail so if you don't understand something of it do not freak out yet i am there to help you uh, i hope this notes will help you uh, go through that understand the foundations first if your foundation if your fundamentals are clear you can write any beautiful test automation tests right and the first step towards that is understanding and having getting a good foundation i hope this gives you good foundation in the next episode i am going to cover before each and test bed in detail and then we start writing our own tests in detail all right i hope you are enjoying this series uh, as much as i am enjoying creating it in the next episode first i'll talk about triple a pattern um, always asked in interviews so if you are planning preparing for an interview this you don't want to miss this episode thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode i hope you are learning i hope you are having fun please those keep those comments coming in they also please keep that positive and healthy feedback coming in thank you so much see you in the next episode